Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to Lurker 101 Players Democracy 3. We're finishing this term as British Prime Minister. Uh, what's this one? Minute fuel subsidy. We're keeping that. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is. Good. In fact, can I afford to right now? No, I want to get rid of the tobacco tax, so. And it brings in 3 billion. I want to get rid of it. Next term. GDP down, Minister Scandal. It might not be anything to do with your policies or your personal conduct, but the actions of your staff are going to reflect on you. One of your junior ministers has been found to have, have had an improper relationship with his secretary. Good boy. Our more conservative citizens are bound to disapprove, and this could make for a noticeable drop in our popularity. Well, it's not going to make the Lib Dems any more popular, is it? Nope. We can win them back. We're back into the deficit. Damn. Expenditure's up. GDP is down. We need to address that. Somehow. So what can we do? The economy is sorting itself out. Petrol tax. That's not going to uh, help the GDP. So we'll revert changes. Power earnings are up. High earnings are about average actually. I want to drop income tax at some point. I really want to drop it at some point. Uh, let's just move on to the next quarter. GDP back up. That's better. Eh. Uh, Crap. GDP's up, but income is down for some reason. And we're back to being popular. That's all right, then. I want to get rid of... You know what? Bye. No more tobacco tax. I know that's going to create a deficit, but we've got reserves. We're going to be okay What's this? Uncompetitive economy. Well, that moved. And how do we affect this? Population tax. Can't move it up until it affects GDP, I suppose. Will it contribute to an uncompetitive economy? Eh, yeah, revert changes for now. We're only bringing in 24 billion per quarter anyway. I'm going to cancel this policy for now, just to see what happens. Oh, we've got to resolve a dilemma. Internet tracking. An increase in capability, the increase in capability of large corporations to use ban tracking. We're just banning tracking. And we're moving on. Landmine ban. Uh, obviously, indiscriminate weapons of war. It's no just. There isn't any justification on these. It's just not. They are indiscriminate and they are just last as long as possible. Well, until somebody steps on them, which could be anybody. Oh, 
Right. Uh, yes, we are becoming competitive once again. That is going to help us a lot. Unemployment doesn't exist. Uh, capitalists. There should be more happy now. Will I get rid of that uncompetitive economy thing? Then we'll be sorted. Anything else that needs to be sorted? Apart from the de deficit, we'll sort that out later. GDP up. Well up. And another deficit. We're okay though. We're okay. An incredibly popular and trendy pop star has given an interview where she expresses furious opposition to your government. She has continued to defend her view views online over a sustained period. As a result, Many young people are likely to develop negative views about your current policies. Fuck off. Come back when you've got a worthwhile opinion then. And... What's this? Uncompetitive economy. So... How do we sort this out then? Unemployment isn't that big a factor because it doesn't exist. Just doesn't exist. So why is it such a big effector? Alcohol consumption is not a problem. And global economy. We need to start raising funds. Global economy and better of GDP is going up, so what do I do then? What do I do? Capital gains tax would affect GDP. Petrol tax. I don't really want to, but uh, revert, revert. Not clicking that. I want to find where. Income tax. Sorry, but it's going back up to 50%. And I'll steep. Steep? It's being vertical. Government borrowing. Alright, I understand that. Carbon tax. Affects GDP. Drop that to 15%. Capital gains. I'm actually going to knock that up to 25%. And the punitive tax is going well up. And let's move it right along. GDP up once again. Flying up now. Income's going back up. GDP well and truly back up now. Economy is becoming much more competitive. Well, it's not really changed, has it? So, we had something to deal with here, I'm sure. Yes, DNA database. Minor budget deficit of nine billion. It's okay. Uh, police chiefs are requesting that they be allowed to fight to build up a global database of everyone's DNA to assist them in fighting crime. DNA evidence allows many previously unsolvable crimes to be tracked to the perpetrators, although there are privacy concerns. Uh, argument four. This is likely to be an invaluable weapon in the fight against crime. For too long, criminals have been able to deny responsibility for their crimes. And with DNA evidence, 
We can sustainably cut police time used to locate criminals such as murderers and rapists. Unless people have something to hide, they cannot possibly oppose such a measure. And the argument against. This is a fundamental breach of our citizens' human rights. We have to maintain an individual's presumption of innocence until proven guilty. And building up a big brother style database of everyone makes us all feel like criminals. Are we really going to force our citizens to provide DNA samples to the state or face jail? Uh, we're building up the database. Sorry. How's these guys doing? Oh, I'll seem happy enough. Right, next water. In fact, huh, we're nearly finished our term. Small surplus now. We're doing okay. Global economy's doing okay. GDP's doing okay. We're all doing okay. Conservatives are happier now. Liberals, not so happy that'll be because of the DNA database. And what's this? A convicted terrorist has gone on hunger strike, demanding he be allowed visits from people thought to be associated with terror groups. We do not have the evidence to arrest his colleagues, and we are currently banning all visit visits for this prisoner, but it looks like he will go through with a hunger strike threat and may die in his cell. Uh, allow visits. We may not like this man or what he stands for, but we cannot allow him to die in a cell. Doing so would only reduce us to the level of the terrorist and would also almost certainly make him a martyr out of him. We should let him have visitors whilst in prison. Or, you do not negotiate with terrorists. It's as simple as that. That will only perceive any negotiation or relaxation of the rules of our part as a sign of weakness. He dies in prison. That's his decision, and we should not be concerned. What the point? You do not no negotiate with terror. You don't give in to terrorist demands because the second you show that, let them get away with it, they'll keep doing it again and again and again, pushing further and further. No visits. None. Uh, fuck you, Maggie Thatcher. One term left. So, we've still got a surplus. What do for our last action in office? The monorail, monorail is in effect now. Big changes to the country. Big, big changes. Let's just go for it. Straight into the, the election. We know how this is going to go. Whoa! People are actually voting Lib Dem. Is it a pity vote or what? It's a pity vote. And a scientific discovery straight away. GDP up once again. GDP well and truly up. Nothing is so permanent as a temporary government program. True that. Still, I'd like to see how we have fully changed the political landscape right now we've fixed Britain for the most part <laughs> for the most part I mean come on look at that high GDP now health education unemployment crime and poverty are things of the past who controls the past controls the future who controls the present Controls the past, George Orwell. But yeah, as I said, we we've ended this term. 
We're moving on to something else. I want to move on to a different country. So, let's start with a new country then. We've done the United Kingdom. The United States did or seen. Seriously, killed us. Fucking dead. Done. D-U-N. Gone. Hmm. <laughs> you what? Veggie my consumption, 22 million jars a year. Oh, we'll do Canada. Moose population estimated 750,000. Maple syrup consumption, consumption 0.26 kilos per person. I'm actually thinking Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Australia is the world's sixth largest country by total area and the world's fourth largest economy. A relatively wealthy country and has the world's fifth highest per capita income. Australia is a member of the G20, OECD, the Commonwealth and the UN. The head of state is Queen Elizabeth II, but government is controlled by the Prime Minister. The Australian economy is characterised by low debt, continuing economic growth and low unemployment. So yeah, there's all the stats. We're doing Australia. Five year term, no limit. Compulsory voting, that's something new. Right. Don't actually know what going to go up against the Conservatives. And once again, you know who we are. We are the Lurker Party. Five-year term. We have hurricanes. Facing little ones, but the hurricanes nonetheless. We're going to play. We're getting ourselves into office. Where should be? Congratulations on your election victory. Welcome to your new job as Prime Minister. The lives of all 22,262,000 citizens are now in your hands. As you will imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns that will need you, you will need to deal with as soon as possible, while keeping an eye on the long-term improvement of our citizens' quality of life. Plus, do not forget that you, that you face re-election in five years. So, you will need to monitor the opinion polls and our party membership. Good luck and good eye. Education's up, everything else here. Whoa! A lot of red there. A lot of red. Right, what's this? Pollution. We need to deal with that. Uh, economy is uncompetitive, once again. Armlessness. Alcohol abuse. Vigilante mobs. Need to deal with that. Got a slight deficit to deal with. Anti-social behaviour. Organised crime. Well, I'm alright with legalised prostitution. And, right. Enough of this stupid sudden accent lurker. We've got work to do. Uh, income tax is going up. 40% income tax straight away. Carbon tax. That's okay where it is actually. Uh, tobacco tax. Gone. Toll roads. And actually. Pro capitalist and the source of income. So, yes. Increased. Capital gains tax. 25%. Petrol tax. 
could hurt the GDP if we don't if we go too far. So ten percent is sufficient. Property tax is okay where it is. Sales tax. Is that fifteen percent or here? And it was this homelessness science funding. We push that to ten billion straight away. That's gonna help with a lot of problems. Apply those changes. Help with the environment. We need And see a billion a quarter on that university grants, grants for all. What else can we do? Uh, police force needs better representation. Applied. And intelligence services. Straight away. Just to keep us alive, basically. Toll roads are okay now. Road building. Fixing existing roads. Well, I know if uh, can't really afford it, can we? Convert changes and just move into the next quarter. GDP down. Right, we've got a surplus. Great news. Uh, global economy in the toilets. Uh, debt. Not really moving. Nope, debt is up somewhat. So we need to plough through the debt. Conservatives are a little happier. Whoa! Isn't Australia a progressive country? Bloody hell. Push that all the way then. Applied! Pollution starting to dip. Right, what's this public libraries? Maximised. Education needs a foot up the arse. Uh, gambling. Uh, we'll actually leave that the way it is. Revert changes. Private healthcare. State schools. We need to improve that. Uh, first law. You know what I'm introducing straight away. Tax on supermarkets. It's popular and it helps. Apply changes. And... Hey, uh, what else can we do? Remember, this is Australia. So we've got, we've got to really build Australia. A uh, young entrepreneur system. Build straight up. Get people into work one way or another. I'm worried I'm going to out conservative the conservatives here. What else is there? Mansion tax, junk food tax, no health credits. Health food subsidies. Let's get people healthy. Let's improve the quality of life of people subtly. And clean fuel subsidy. 
Alright, let's get that down instead. Bicycle subsidies and a campaign. I know Australia is not somewhere you'd really want to pedal all the way across, but in built up areas, it should be a good thing. Right, let's move on to the... Oh, we've got something to deal with. We've got to appoint a UN ambassador. And let's have a period this time. See what that does. Next quarter. <laughs> Philip Bustman, you certainly have the stamina for politics. You have been working away in your office for so long now, it's almost time to start the next year's work. <laughs> Didn't expect that one. Health up, crime down. Death protection law. Goodbye, Wonga. Surplus still. That's a good thing. We're becoming more popular. Uh, conservatives are becoming happy with us. Uh, so our cameras. I want more CCTV. I know it's got a cost. But it'll keep people safe. Vigilante Bob's well down. Uh, light defensive army. Uh, citizenship tests. Uh, watch this. Racial tension slowly going down there. Border controls. Armed guards. That's Australia. International trade. We need to boost international trade. Immigration is down. Foreign aid. Well, we're not going to do much with that sort of army. What's this? Ah, it's a UN ambassador. So what's this? Uh, need to help productivity. Pollution's going down. That should help with productivity as well as some to some degree. Foreign invested tax breaks. Not exactly the patriotic thing to do. It would cost a lot, but we need to get the GDP up at some point. Better the GDP, the better everyone's life. Who are earnings are going up. Eight GDP's gone down. We need to boost it up. Uh, where are we then? Traffic congestion. We'll build it. We are actually getting rid of the traffic congestion. What what can we do to uh, increase GDP? In increase productivity. Adult education subsidies. Maximise. That'll help. We know what we're doing, so we should be able to increase the GDP by some serious degree. Want a National Business Council. And what else? What else? Seriously, what else? And not... Ah, small business grants. That'll help a lot. It's going to cost a lot as well. But we've got a surplus. Let's go into the next quarter and see what these sort of changes have done. Oh, balls. Funny man is back. We need to sort the crime out. Health is on the up and up though. Crime's going down. Unemployment needs to be sorted. How much of that can we change? Find out next time in Loco 101 Players Democracy 3 Australian Edition. See you next time. Goodbye.